this video, we're going to look at solving for the profit maximizing number of workers. Question one, a firm's production function is given by the following. The quantity of output Q equals two times the natural log of labor, where the marginal product of labor, which is the derivative of this total product of labor function or short run production function, is just two divided by L. The firm sells its product in a competitive market at a price of $100 and it hires workers in a competitive market at a going market wage of $20. How many workers should the firm hire? To maximize profit, the firm will hire up until the point where the value of the marginal product of labor equals the wage. The value of the marginal product of labor is increase in revenue from hiring one more worker, and we're going to set that equal to the added cost of hiring one more worker, which is the wage. The value of the marginal product of labor is simply the price, in this case $100, the price of the output good, times the marginal product of labor, which is 2 divided by L, and we're going to set that equal to $20 a wage. So making the substitutions in for the price, the marginal product of labor, and the wage, we're going to solve this equation for L. So 100 times 2 is where this 200 is coming from, and then multiplying everything through by L, we get this result. So the profit maximizing number of workers is 10. Question two, a firm here with a slightly different total product of labor function, Q equals two times the square root of labor, where the marginal product of labor in this case will be given by one divided by L to the one half power. The firm sells its product at a price of $100. Again, this is in a competitive marketplace. This firm is a price taker and it hires workers at the going market wage of $20. How many workers should the firm hire? Setting up our profit maximizing condition, making the appropriate substitutions, $100 for the price, marginal product of labor, and the wage, and solving for L. So multiplying through by L to the 1 half power, we get this. Dividing through by 20, 100 divided by 20 is 5. And then we're going to square both sides. And we'll get L equals 25, the profit maximizing number of workers. And in our last question here, a slightly different functional form for our production function. 100L minus 0.5L squared. Here the marginal product of labor, which is just the derivative of this production function gives us 100 minus L. The firm sells its product at a price of $100 and hires workers, this time at a wage of $200. So we got the price multiplied by the marginal product of labor, which is 100 minus L, and that equals a wage of 200. Simplifying, 100 times 100 is 10,000, and then 100 times minus L is a minus 100L. Subtracting 200 from 10,000 and moving thumbs, and moving some things around, L equals 98. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.